What's up guys, it's Devin here at Twisted 6 TV. We're back in Louisiana for a hog hunt. We've already finished up part one and part two where we went after them during the night and also with a knife. But now we're headed back out with our bows and hopefully gonna get on some hogs. Just got out of the stand. The wind is mainly blowing right towards the feeder but it's kind of swirling around. And so we had a few pigs come in. They were directly downwind of us and we got busted. So I think we're gonna try and make a move. We're gonna try and Take some of these trails, go to some other feeders, and see if we can get down one of some hogs. With multiple encounters of hogs, unfortunately we couldn't seal the deal. And as the sun was setting, we got on the feeder with these final hogs. And it was just getting a little bit too dark. I didn't feel comfortable shooting my bow. And so we went ahead and made a pass on those hogs. Well, we're back in the stand here for the evening hunt. Got my bow set up. We're on the same feeder as this morning. We're about 20 yards from the feeder. We had an exciting afternoon. We got out there with the dogs and we're hunting the hogs. Got to stab a pig, but... I love archery, so we're back out here doing it again with the bow. After sitting in the stand for about an hour, we had a group of small hogs moving in. Before the feeders went off, they were just cruising around from feeder to feeder to see if they could find a meal to eat. Right after the feeder went off, we saw a couple hogs moving in the background. They didn't come in unfortunately, but it was a decent sized group and we knew the hogs were on their feet ready to go for the afternoon. What do you know? Rise this big old group of hogs comes in, we got the wind blowing. It had been windy all afternoon and it was swirling around, but right as this group of hogs is about to make their way to the feeder, the wind blows right at them.
Every single time the hogs were coming in, the wind would pick up and swirl around. They'd pick up their nose and smell us out, and then they'd be gone. Maybe they're gonna feed this way. After that last group of hogs, we sat for about 15 more minutes, and sure enough, came in a big old hog. I had to kind of like a plaster right there. So on the way down to the hunt, we were talking in the car, and my dad had filmed a little bit, but not a whole lot. And so I told him, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Just hit record, keep track of the animal, and you, I mean, you got one job. It can't be that hard. You had one job, Dad. One job. All you had to do was keep it in the frame. Watch out, Noah. You, just, you never know. He just might not hit record next time. I didn't feel like it was a great shot, so we went ahead and waited till dark. We waited a few minutes. And then we got down on the ground and started tracking. There's some blood. Oh, dirty. Passed straight through. I mean, there's blood right here. It was a real super thin blood trail. We ended up having to find the hog by looking for deep imprints. We were looking for a hog that was running heavy and running fast. So we were in a little bit of a swampy area, and with all those deep tracks, we were able to find the tracks of where he was running. Uh, yeah, he's probably 150, 160. Wow. Oh, sorry. Big hog of the day. Well, did you get any video tracking blood at all? No. No, there we go. Man, that is a good hog. Well guys, that's about it. We hope you enjoyed the footage. We've also got Noah going down to Oklahoma for a hog hunt. And we've got other videos of me in Louisiana. So check those out. Make sure to go to our page and look through all the videos we've got of our hog hunting. We'll see you guys next time.